Hi. Good day, everyone. Konnichiwa. I'm Rumi from Ultra Celsius. You, all, of, all of you know Celsius mean, except maybe if you are from the imperial system. But as you, by the name, we are focusing on temperature, especially cold temperature here. Now, uh, we started our company based on the problem that we face. Like uh, in uh, many countries, especially underdeveloped countries, 30% of the meat products are lost because of their lack of cooling system. Or even if there's any cooling system, like a fridge or a freezer, there's no electricity to uh, run it uh, 24 hours often blackouts. But even, even in the developed world, it's very expensive to run uh, the freezing system. A freezing system will uh, easily cost like a typical fr fridge, a refrigerator will typically cost like $100 a year to operate. So many companies are focusing on reducing energy consumption and going green because it's costly to operate a freezer system. But we now, we develop a system that could solve both problems, not only for underdeveloped countries, but also for energy savings. We develop a freezer that could work uh, in, uh, w without power for 100 hours and keep food cold even below refrigerator temperature. So it uh, can work, it saves energy, uh, and also uh, work with limited electricity access. So what's the secret of our freezer? Our freezer has a chemical compartment embedded inside the freezer. This chemical compartment has a chemical sauce. We have a pr proprietary com chemical sauce and proprietary uh, technology, which we are in, in the process of patenting. So this chemical will uh, save excess energy and uh, will store, and it will use it when the electricity is off. So a regular freezer, a regular freezer uh, works on only by the cooling system, the evaporator. Without the electricity, there's no, uh, there's no way, uh, there's no system that could store energy inside a free regular freezer. So once the cooling system is off, the cold energy the, uh, will go out and will exit the cabin, and food will uh, start uh, to increase the temperature. So if you keep it for more than one day, the food will perish, will easily perish. While our uh, technology, we, uh, our chemical will absorb energy will absorb energy when uh, the freezer is on. And uh, once uh, it reaches a certain temperature, it will automatically turn off and it will release energy to keep the food cold. This is our test. Y the light blue area is when the freezer is off. We started for uh, like the day four and it, it lasted until day eight. It, for four days, it was still in uh, cold condition. It's still below zero degrees b because once it start on, at zero it will start on, and it will only take 36 hours to uh, refreeze the chemical. So, it's uh, based on this. It's equal to 74 percent of the time is off. And here yeah, on the left side, you can see uh, in a regular freezer, meat will uh, at 18 hours it will go to zero it will start to deteriorate. Well, here, in 103 hours, the pink line is the meat. It will still be at 100, uh, zero uh, degrees uh, Celsius. So it's still good condition. Furthermore, our technology could be used, could be scaled up into a more industrial scale. We are testing on uh, the cold storage in a four-star hotel in Yogyakarta, and the results are quite good so far. So hopefully, thank you for very much for uh, the time, and hopefully we can scale it up and help a lot of people with this technology. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Hey, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Let's give him a big applause. Yeah. So I hope no one is feeling too cold in here now. <laughs> it might have just taken the temperature down a couple of notches. <laughs> I am here all week. Thank you very much. And now we will move on to the Q&A. Yes. And I hope it's not a frosty reception. I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was Thank freezing. <laughs> uh, what is there a price, price difference on okay. your technology, or what's the? Okay. How much does it cost? Okay. So basically, we we did a research on uh, this, and we did a small scale for our prototype. We developed, uh, and we count the extra cost compared to a regular freezer is around a hundred dollars. Uh, however, uh, it, uh, to operate it, I said, it's $100 a year electricity for a regular freezer. And if you save 30% to 40%, the payback period is three years. So the lifespan of the freezer is five years, but uh, accounting life, but it's more than five years. So it's still uh, beneficial for the customer. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell did Ours is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two questions. Do you have, uh, what is your chemical compartment? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your uh, chemical compartment? And, oh. and uh, do you have some patent for that or okay. some okay. IP? Okay. Uh, for the system itself, the cooling system, that uh, we have a chemical compartment in the freezer, we, we register it to the, uh, the patent, and we are in the process of the PCT process. And so far, there's no problem, uh, and uh, so far we are in track of getting the worldwide patent. Okay, and okay. how much size do you, can, um, do you bigger? Sorry? Uh, how, mu how bigger oh. do you make the... Okay, so for the uh, cold storage that we are testing in a four-star hotel in Yogyakarta, we are testing it in a room. The room is around two meters wide, three meters uh, uh, long, and two meters high. So it's uh, basically uh, it is a small room for, uh, and it keeps the temperature below zero for so far for 12 hours without electricity. Thank you. Um, because we are talking about the chemical, yes? have you done like independent third party audits if it's actually harmful for the food maybe or not? Okay. Uh, actually, the chemical is 99% uh, food, uh, food ingredient, so it's totally safe. Even if uh, I, swa I uh, unfortunately I don't bring it, but I can swallow it. It's totally safe. Thanks. Uh, do you have a working product, and are you ready to do mass production? Yeah, mm -hmm. we have the prototype. We have two work in, uh, working pr uh, prototype now uh, in uh, Indonesia. But for mass uh, for mass production, we are looking for a partnership with uh, may maybe major players, and we will look to sell and license our IP. So we don't need to uh, compete with the big players. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, you can go out on the